Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Talks. My name is Richard and uh, doing a quick video today. We're going to be talking about alarmism and being scared. Coming up next. Okay. All right, so we're going to be looking at, I'm just going to do a quick shot. It's a screenshot and I'll do some comments on it. Just read it, really, just reading it. And I want you to know that Christ is king, right? Christ rules and reigns, not anyone else. And <laughs> just, let's just watch. Okay, let's look at this and try and understand what is happening in our world today and what was happening then. History matters. 1966, it said oil will be gone in 10 years. 67, there should be a dire famine by 1975. Overpopulation, they said in 1968, would spread over the whole world. 1969, they said everyone will disappear in a cloud of blue steam by 1989. Okay. 1970, blue steam. That one's funny. 1970, the world will use up all its natural resources by the year 2000. 1970 also said urban citizens will require gas masks by 1985. I didn't wear a gas mask as a two-year-old. 1970, nitrogen buildup will make all land unstable. Oh dear, that didn't happen. 1970, decaying population will kill all the fish. Okay. 1970, there was also killer bees. There was going to be an ice age in 30 years from 1970 in the year 2000. Ring in the new millennium. Didn't happen. 1970, Americans subject to water rationing in 1974. Food rationing by 1980. Hmm. Don't remember that. 1971, new age coming by 2020 or 2030. New ice age. Excuse me. New ice age. New ice age. Just kidding. Uh, a few more years after that. 2070. Okay. Uh, oil depleted in 20 years. 1974, space satellites show new ice age coming fast. Another ice age. <laughs> uh, notice they're all dealing with an ice age in the 1970s and into the 80s. Now it's all warming, warming, warming. But then they change it to global uh, global warming, to climate change, to global climate change, to a global uh, climate catastrophe. They just up the ante. Ozone depletion. Great peril of life, 1974. 1976, scientific consensus. Planet cooling, famines, 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 imminent. 1977, Department of Energy says oil will peak in the 1990s. 1978, no end in sight for the 30-year cooling trend. Again, it's all cooling. This year and the last decade and a half, it's been global warming. Because the cooling didn't really work, so scare people with warming, I suppose. Peak oil in 2000. 20 years. 1988, regional droughts didn't happen. 1988, also temperatures in D.C. will hit record highs. Oh, we're starting to transition to warming. Maybe it's even earlier. Maybe I was wrong. Maldive Islands will be underwater by 2018. Nope, they're still there. Rising sea levels will obliterate na nations, can't talk, if nothing is done by the year 2000. 1989, New York City's West Side Highway underwater by 2019. Yes, it's not. It's funny, a few of these say it's not, because... All this stuff didn't happen. 1996, peak oil in 2020. Children won't know what snow is in 2000. Peak oil in 2020. Let's zoom in up a little bit. Super hurricanes in 2006. I mean, they kind of did that, but they do that with other means by weather manipulation. 2009, UK Prime Minister says 50 days to save the planet catastrophe. This is all recent. Climate crisis, climate genius, rather, Al Gore, moves 2013 prediction of ice-free Arctic to 2014. 2013, ice-free Arctic by 2015. Mm, only 500 days before climate chaos. That was in 2014. <laughs> that was eight years ago. Hey, Greta, we need to convince you. All right. So it was pretty fascinating, huh? And yet all those things, those predictions, just like we have predictions today, didn't come true. Overpopulation, planet cooling, oil's out, right? Famines, killer bees, overpopulation, underpopulation. We're actually going to be underpopulated if you actually look at the numbers. It's all the things that they don't talk about generally, both then and especially now, is really what the problem is. Right? They don't talk about inflation. They don't talk about uh, radical immigration. They don't talk about free stuff. They don't talk about people not having jobs or a robot takeover, so-called, or AI or other things. Now, some people talk about these things, but often the quote-unquote normal talking heads from CNN and Fox and uh, many of the other news agencies, so-called Wall Street Journal and Time, they don't. They don't deal with these things at all. They just do alarmism. Now we have the alarmism again. It's climate catastrophe, climate global crisis, and 
this, that, and the other. Wow, we have these people jet setting and supposedly, you know, in their private jets that aren't going to harm the planet, but, you know, our normal gas cars will. It's silly. Be against this, people. Be against this because know that God is king, God rules, and reigns. Hope you found this helpful. And uh, go ahead and like and share if you don't mind. And drop a comment. Tell me um, something fun. If you've heard other climate things or catastrophisms, especially if you're north of 50 or 60 years old, uh, the things that you remember as a youth, uh, what they were warning about and how they didn't come true. Tell me in the comments. Thanks. Have a great day.